Hey YouTube, Anthony back at you with here in my office. Uh, 60 something, 66, 65, something like that. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I know I haven't posted for what's been maybe a couple weeks. Um, I had, uh, and what's been going on is I, uh, I had, I had multiple interviews with City and um, for an audit manager position in the Treasury Department. And I was feeling really good about it. Um, it went really well. And, um, you know, I thought I was going to get an offer. But what what it turned out happening is I ended up getting a rejection letter. And uh, I was so surprised by that. I actually sent a email to the, the guy in HR. And he said it's an automated email. He'll check on it. But uh, I'm not feeling good about this one, guys. So um, I've been kind of down about that. Um, you know, I, I I interviewed with City back in December and um, had three interviews with them, got a rejection. But then they passed me up to another team. And then I got, um, I went through three more interviews and um, thought that maybe this would be it. You know, I thought maybe finally I'd do that. My last video was talking about a move to Tampa. So I had been looking at Tampa and uh, checking the area out and thinking, you know, this is where we're moving and everything like that. But um, it looks like it's not going to happen. So, um what else is going on? I, I had an interview with Charles Schwab a couple of days ago on Friday. I think it was Friday. And, um, you know, that's just the start of the process again with them. I had, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know I did interview with Charles Schwab a long time ago, maybe eight months ago, a while ago, and um, didn't get the position. But um, they came back to me. And uh, it's another, it's a manager of operational risk. So it's outside of audit, but it's also, you know, risk management. So, you know, I think, you know, there's a possibility that I could get an offer from them. But um, they told me, you know, this is the initial interview. And then I'd have like two more interviews and um, have to go through that. And I'm just getting tired, guys. I'm getting so sick of all this crap. Um, but which brings me to think, too. Um, tomorrow, on Monday, I have an interview with Wells Fargo for an operational risk manager job. Um, another good opportunity. But I've, I've met with Wells Fargo before. I've been through their process. I didn't get a job. And... Um, Part of me just wants to just throw in the towel with all this stuff. I'm getting sick of all this shit. I'm getting sick of getting passed up. I'm getting sick of interviewing and having it turn into nothing. It was never this hard for me to get a job at my prior own company. Um, I didn't have nearly as hard of a time. So... I'm just sick of it all, guys. Sick of it all. So... Which always makes me think of my settlement and um, selling this house. And, um, you know, we sell this house, we downsize to something. And um, I get my settlement. And if it's in the mid six figures, like they said it's going to be, that's like $500,000, maybe more or maybe less. And um, that'll be enough money for me to pick up a few uh, rentals. And I could be a landlord. And part of me feels like I would be happier as a landlord with um, multiple properties. And I could make just as much money being a landlord, renting out residential properties as I could being, um, being back in an internal audit. And I won't have to put in half as much work. It, it wouldn't be a 9 to 5 Monday through Friday thing. It would be you know, seven days a week, 
whenever stuff pops up. And uh, other than that, I would just get paid by my tenants and I would be good. So the way I look at it, guys, is I, I you know, I was running some numbers. And I don't know off the top of my head, but um, basically, if I settle for $500,000, I could pick up like five, six, seven, eight properties here in Buffalo and uh, between sixty to a hundred thousand dollars each. And um, those un in each unit, each building would have two units and um, each unit would run out for eight hundred dollars a month, roughly. So the way I look at it, having, you know, eight properties at sixteen hundred dollars a month doing the math, I would be into the six figures and, um, being into the six figures on, on rental properties, I could then, um, take that money, invest it into more properties and just grow the whole thing and have like a real estate empire. And, um, if things keep going the way they're going and I don't get jobs, I'm going to have, that's it's really going to be my only option. So, you know, I'm, I'm not looking to be, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm 38 years old and with that real estate thing, if I start at $500,000, I can be making $200,000 a year in five, 10 years from now. And, uh, that would be a good life. You know, I'd be doing really well. And I would still be here in Buffalo, but the the monkey on my back is the fact that we're behind, you know, forty five thousand dollars on this mortgage, and um, we're we're bringing in horse shit right now when it comes to uh, money with Instacart. You know, we're bringing in. I'm making like a hundred dollars a week if I'm lucky, so I'm making nothing and. Um, you know, it's beer money, basically. It's fucking beer money and cigarettes. I mean, that's what it's going to. Um, so I'm just really down, guys. I'm, I'm not feeling good. Um, I'm hanging in there. Things could be worse. You know, it could be worse. I Worse things could happen to me. I have my health. And um, I look at it that way. So, um so wish me luck, guys, on my, on my interview tomorrow with Wells Fargo. We talk at 11 in the morning. Um, it's only a half-hour thing. It's with, like, HR. And, um, you know, basically I have my, I have my uh, spiel down here on, on paper. And I just go through my... my it's taken like 12 years of experience and boiling it down to one page. And um, instead of uh, just doing it off the top of my head, I thought it might be smarter to outline it and have something as like a script. And uh, I did that during my city interviews for my last interview with City. And uh, I thought, you know, I thought it would help. But maybe I'm wrong, guys. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm not cut out for this shit. I don't know. So, I hate to be a downer, but um, even though I have Charles Schwab and Wells Fargo in play, um, I'm still not feeling good about anything anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm really just, like, checked out, basically. I'll go through these interviews, though. And I'll keep applying to audit jobs and just keep going because I need to put to work my MBA in finance and my finance bachelor's degree and my certified internal auditor, certified in finance, again, accounting with SAP. And, and uh, I guess I'm a licensed agent. Um, used to be working with New York Life, but um, that didn't work out. I couldn't get anywhere with that, and I I I I resigned. So um, so yeah, it's just really been a a low time. So um, I don't know. Hopefully something turns up, guys. So that's about it, guys. 
I'll make another I'll make another video next week probably. Um, after I talk to Wells Fargo and maybe something will pop up with Charles Schwab, maybe I'll have a second round. Um, I'll make another video. Um, but yeah, stay tuned because the clock is ticking with this house and eventually you're not going to see this beautiful background with this awesome fucking room. You know, as you can see, my office, it's, it's all going to go away. It's just, you know, we're going to lose it. I mean, that's the way it's looking. So, whatever. But uh, that's, that's what's going on, guys. So, thanks for watching, and um, stay tuned for the next time. Bye-bye.